Right, hello guys. I'm just here to help you how to edit your FOV. So there's two things you need is two file explorer thingy to help with your coding and one just for your uh, notepad plus plus. So you're going to your DCS open beta folder or your stable folder. Go to your config, see your view file folder and then you go to your server, which you can use to um, edit your little scripting. By using Notepad++ just to edit it, so instead of using Notepad and stuff like that, to make it more difficult to try and code. Well, while on the left, um, I just made a quick short photo because I already, already made it, so I just did a, all edit all the stuff in there. Uh, just to rely on the wrong folder, just let me quickly close it. So you've got so I've got the default one there, but I'll just show you how to edit and all that stuff. So I'm just going to change a few of the things around. So all of them, you don't want to tweak around, because they're like the default module, which I have no idea what that does. So the only thing you can change is the camera view angle limit, which uh, to stop it being really glitchy or really warped, and so you're not so close up facing the HUD. So I put it on increasing to 65 and then to 120. So I found 120 to be quite a sweet spot to uh, be zoomed out. So I'll quickly save it. Alright, and uh, what I do is, and then you go to your mod for short for modules in your beta. Go to aircraft. And I'm going to start with the A10 Tango Killer. You've got a bunch of the the module I got. I got I'm, I'm, I, I can't buy everything <laughs> and then you go to view which you can see where you can add it into your server lower script and what you want to do you want to copy and paste everything like view setting and local functions and all that stuff and what you got you want entry which you can help you to find out the ID the unique ID to make the view setting works so down there at the bottom you've got a 10 underscore 2 so that's what helps you to make it work so to get it um, so you can see the changes to so see the FOV if you have it you have it so you, you do not put it in correctly it will um, not work at all well, it would work, but you just need to make sure the right name would work. So just copy everything. Uh, and then I put it under the new folder. Paste it. And then the entry one, I just copy and paste the a 10 underscore 2. And then I put on the next to view setting, you've got to be wary here. You've got to put square bracket, not squiggly bracket. So square bracket. Um, quotation mark, copy and paste in the, the unique plain code, quotation mark and close square bracket. Then I just copy and paste everything in there. And then I'll just put it under, under the A10 view setting, put space. Uh, so I'll do space it out, give it a few. I paste it in, there we go. And now that's that done for, for the A10. So to cross that, cross that, onto, and uh, just hit save and stuff, and you can change the FAV. So I change the FAV when I'm in the server. Make sure, so the last thing to do. So you're able to see more of the dials and screen in, in front of you. So, so you're not so up close that you're sniffing the, uh, the HUD. <laughs> Alright. And I'll do just put one space down. So it makes you've got uh, a space in between the code. we have got like a to be Apache. Uh, go to view and then go to entry. And then you scroll down, it will say something. Oh, it said uh, flyable ID. So you, you've got to find it. 
to to enable to record and then here we go you hear the near the top says all underscore all that stuff so I do copy paste all of the local function apart from the snap view so snap view we don't want because that's its own unique thing so I'll just copy and paste all of all of that I don't know what local function to but I feel like it just helped with your head position or something like that I, I'm going to be wrong on that anyway so feel free, feel free to correct me and all that stuff and uh, just make sure everything's there as intended and then um, Open, bra open square bracket quotation mark and then you put copy the ID first line ID for the Apache paste it in close quotation mark and close square bracket and make sure you've got a space between the close bracket e equal and then the weird squiggly bracket then change the FOV so put to 45 and then again 420 so it's not like a fishbowl with that so what we'll do, when you put the uh, zoom in the middle function, it'll be it'll be half, it'll be half of 45 to 120. So it'll be like, oh god, I don't even know my math right, like 85 or something, like something like in the halfway when you when you spawn in by default. So should help out with that. Then uh, to paste it into the server lower, scroll all the way down to see the bottom of it. And then let's change the uh, module. So I'll just close you, and then close you. Let's go to the F14. Now this is a weird one. This only has entry, doesn't have a view. Now where do we find it? Which is a bit really annoying. So let's open up entry, and then that will tell you what you need to uh, what you need to put now let's try and find it nope not there is there one of these them? nope is there no is it on the cockpit nope yeah, nope nope <laughs> why is that for god's sake Nope. Nope. Oh, where is it for God's sake? I know I did this the other day. Well, is it for struggle or the F14? It's a massive cluster mass. Nope. Nope. No under there. Oh, we're going to be under. We're going to be under. Nope. Nope, oh, for God's sake. Where's the sodden crap is at? Uh, option? No. Nope. Nope. Is it there? Nope. Not, not the right one. Oh, for God's sake, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Nope. Ah! Ah, okay, yeah, it, it, well, it's under entry. It's under, it's under entry. Uh, so, be, uh, there it goes, go. found it. <laughs> right, so now for view. Now, this one, right, copy and paste every fucking everything. So, make sure you can see or copy everything up to the snap view. So, all the local function and view setting. Don't uh, don't 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 copy the um, the snap view at all. Now to find out the right one, you have got the F14B and you got the F14A version of the view setting. So make a flyable with all of that one, and then you got here and you got make view setting. So you got the F14B to make the view setting just for that particular aircraft to the F14A. So copy copy that one. 
Right, interview setting, open back, open square bracket, quotation mark. Copy it in, go square bracket, and then there we go. Copy all of that, come on. Why am I not doing it right? Oh, wait, oh, wait I better turn the FOV. So I found it between 70 and 120 is quite nice in the Tomcat. You so you're not so close touching touching the head or like banging your head on it if you flam on the brake. Copy all of that. And paste it in. Now let's do for the MI24. Oh wait, no, no, let's do the F16. Just making sure I haven't changed anything. Do you want to change the basic uh, module? Because that will fail the integrity check. So this one makes it uh, clean. So here's the F16 view setting is under F16. Underscore 50. Nothing special about that one. And now for the MI24. Now, this is a bit of a unique one, this one. So, this one doesn't really. It got a lot of uh, funky line of code. So you got you make view setting. Got the, the basic one. Open up view, and then you got all of this extra thing. And like, oh, well, do I need it to work? So I did copy everything in there. Up, up to snap view. Copy it, and then copy the MI twenty four P logo. So I'm just turning the FOV for behind. So let's put it down to 10, it's a bit neater, and then... Place it under there. Open square bracket, quotation mark, paste it in, close square bracket, and then close square bracket. There we go. I'll get my English out one day. So I'm able to be a bit more fluent in it, even though I'm English myself. Just create more space. There we go, paste it in, and then just close it off. So you can do this with every module you got. Some module, the, the file, the, the, the view file or the entry file might be in different places. You've got to find it around in your in your aircraft module uh, folder. There's always some hiding. So quickly save it. What I do is I don't really tweak anything else. I just tweak the view angle settings. So I've got it saved elsewhere, but that's just what showing you. So what do will get saved into your your window folder, and then what I do, I'll go to save game. Uh, I'm going to go to whatever version got, go to config, go to view, and then I paste it in here. Uh, the server doesn't exist in that folder, so I just copy it and then paste it into this um, view folder uh, for for a stable one, and then this will this will pass the file integrity check. It won't get classed as uh, cheating in a way.